I asked Alan Collins to play devil's advocate for just a moment and to give a reason not to take the risks involved with this new venture. I'll say that real fast. Uh, the reason not to is the reason to do it. It's one of those things where people tell you not to do something and you want to do it and you know you can do it. Then you do it. And you don't play around, you don't mess around about it, you just do it, you know. Because we're winners, not losers. And we will do it again. Winners and losers from any time, any place, anywhere. Gary tells us the reasoning behind the decision to have a female lead vocalist front the Rossington Collins Band, a decision that resulted in Dale Krantz getting the coveted slot. We didn't want to be compared to get a, a male singer who not copied Ronnie. We wouldn't go for that. But just another, you know, because no matter how good he was, He'd be compared. God bless Ronnie Van Zandt. He was my best friend I ever had, and I don't think I'll ever have one as good, even close, as good as him. But he raised me, really. But uh, we put our heads together. We ain't quite as dumb as we look. We thought, who in the hell would think us coming out in our style of music with a female vocalist? Our strategy was not to be compared, and who can compare a female with a Ronnie? Alan Collins describes the vocal talent of Dale Krantz. When we heard what we heard, we said, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll go with it. <laughs> because she's strong, she's a wailing bitch, you know, she won't quit. You know, and when, when, you, when you're that forceful, then there's no denying it's going to happen. Dale is so strong, she reminds me of the singer of the old band, I'm sure you know who I'm talking about, RVZ. There's no denying, except for a lady. And if you're that strong, I'll take it and roll with it, because I know it's going to happen. The night that Gary and Alan made their offer of the lead vocals to Dale Kranz was obviously quite a memorable one. Here's how it went, alternately through the eyes of Gary Rossington and Dale Kranz. And we went over to her house at about 3 in the morning and said, uh, Come here, we want to talk to you. There I was. <laughs> My old man was long gone somewhere that night, and I had friends over. To this day, I don't remember who they were now, uh, but we were sitting there, and a big, loud bang at the door, which isn't unusual. But there's Gary and Alan, who I knew, who I'd partied with, but who I had yet really had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with or anything. Here comes Gary and Alan flying through the door. And we took her in the back, you know, there were a few people there, and set her down and said, Now, you all right? Sit down. I want to talk to you. Okay, there's guests in the in the living room. They dragged me off into the back bedroom, you know, and, and sat me down on the bed. And I look up, and here's, like, there again, it's 2 in the morning, 3, I can't remember, it was late. And they were looking, they were excited, but serious, very serious. And I remember looking up at them, Anyway, and uh, they both kind of started at once, hem hawing. Well, uh, we thought we've been talking, and uh, uh, you want to be our lead singer. Gary says. Gary says you you want to sing in our band, just like that. And my heart started pounding real hard, and I thought background vocals. Who did they get to sing lead? But who cares who they got to sing lead? I'm gonna finally work with these people. You know the the band that I thought was the greatest. And uh, they said, we just decided that you're the one to sing lead for us. Well, that's when my heart really started going, the realization of what they meant. And there again, it was both of them. It was coming out of them at the same time, like the two-headed man. You know, <laughs> one would say, you want to sing in the band? The other one said, we don't want any comparisons. And then the other one would say, so you've got to sing lead. And it was a fast and, and a rush. And I think the first thing I said was, feel my heart, it's coming right out of my chest. I, I really felt like I was going to lose control. And uh, it took me about three seconds to recover. And I said, yes, I'll do it. 
And I felt right about it immediately, too. My first thought, realistically and more objectively, was these guys are a lot more far-sighted than I thought they were. They, they really have something on the ball to know that a woman could definitely be the answer for them after what they'd been through. But I would never thought it would be me. <laughs> oh. The Rossington Collins Band, six men and one hell of a woman, whose collective talents are equaled only by their sheer guts in taking on the risks of the rock and roll road. They're wiser for the past, confident of the present, and hopeful for the future. So much so that they've made you the ultimate rock and roll promise to play for you anytime, any place, anywhere. Sometimes you can put it out, but it's a 